Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? Word problems in algebra. So we're going to learn to convert the English in a word problem into maths. So if you see is, am, are, that would be an equal sign in mathematical notation and some greater than, longer, heavier, those kind of things are a plus in mathematical notation. Minus, less, difference, less than, below, those sort of things would be a minus sign. Multiply by, product and of are all multiply by signs. Divide, shared, per would be a divide by sign. Times itself is another way of saying squared, so that would be square. And sometimes you'll see consecutive numbers. Well, consecutive numbers, if we call the first of our consecutive numbers n, then the second of the consecutive numbers would be n plus 1. So n would be an unknown number, n plus 1 would be the next number on from that. Similarly, if, the, if it said, instead of saying consecutive numbers, if it said an even number, and we didn't know what the even number was, we would call it 2n, the 2 in front of it, making sure that it's even, because it, whatever n is, it will be multiplied by 2 to give us an even number. And if we wanted an odd number, we would call it 2n plus 1. Make it even, add 1, that will ensure it's odd. And if we wanted consecutive odd numbers, then if our first odd number was 2n plus 1, then to get to the next odd number, we'd have to add another 2 to that, so it'd be 2n plus 3 would be our consecutive odd numbers. You don't have to do it as 2n plus 1, 2n plus 3. You can also do it as 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. So, in other words, subtracting 2 from that one to get your other odd number. OK, so let's move on to some examples where the question is written in English and we have to convert it into mathematical equations before we can solve it. OK, so our second example, the sum of two consecutive numbers is 53. We have to find the numbers. The sum means plus. And two consecutive numbers, we said before, consecutive numbers, well, one of the numbers might be called n, in which case the other number will be called n plus 1. So the sum of two consecutive numbers is is equals and then 53. So now we've converted the question which was written in English into a mathematical equation. First thing I'm going to do is simplify the equation. n plus n is 2n plus 1 is 53. And then I'm going to solve it again using a flow diagram. n times 2 plus 1 is 53. I need to minus 1 from both sides. 2n is 52, and then opposite of times 2 would be divide by 2. So dividing both sides by 2, and oops, that shouldn't have been an x, that should have been an n. Dividing both sides by 2 gives me n is 26. So n is 26. Now n was the first of these numbers, so n was 26. And that means the next number would be n plus 1, 27. So the two numbers that are consecutive and add together to give me 53 are 26 and 27. 